Well, how did you score the first three rounds? Okay, Jim, three to nothing, 30 to 26, Vladimir Klitschko. Give him a, an extra point for the knockdown of round one. Jim, very important. The Klitschko camp at the rules being asked, what's Abertin? They're not familiar with it. And that's the standard that American cut men use. Well, Tommy Brooks will surely bring him up to date in the months ahead on what Abertin is. In the meantime, Fritz Sedinik will have to work on Klitschko's eyes with the end swell only. Jabs through round three by CompuBox numbers. Klitschko 57 of 158. Mercer 29 out of 69. So if it was a jabbing contest, Klitschko's winning that too. Klitschko's still punching with a lot of power at this stage, even though he may be trying a little bit and getting hit with a few jabs, but he's still punching with a tremendous amount of power, especially for a man who's 41 years old to be in there trying to take those blows. Uppercut. Hasn't shown that punch before. Landed it. Temporarily stunned Mercer. Now he gets in another right hand. Mercer seems stunned by Klitschko's speed and power earlier. Now has a gauge on it and is taking the punches pretty well. Absolutely, Jim. And I think that's been a big factor. And he seems to have gotten his rhythm and adjusted to his strength and size, which I think was very impressive in the beginning. He oh, there's a colossal right cross, and Mercer drops his hands as if to say, I've got no defense for that, but again, he might be playing possum. And Klitschko treats him with respect. Locks the right cross. Klitschko's strength is, is, strength is so tremendous that even when Mercer blocks the punches, he moves Mercer's body around. Now Ray lands a right hand upstairs, and the left jab as Klitschko drops his guard a little bit. Good movement by Klitschko to get away from that shot. Cut. Mercer tied him up. Yeah, Mercer's fighting a very good fight considering everything right now. In fact, a perfect fight and the only fight that he can fight. His eyes are swelling too, though. Mercer is an old army guy who looks like a, a Sherman tank with a gun sticking out that left hand, but he's fighting somebody with a longer gun and longer range. Oh, the right cross landed again. To land those type of punches becomes very discouraging when you hit a guy with the kind of punches that Chris has been landing this round. And he's taking all of those and still walking in and hitting with a jab. One of the highest compliments to Klitschko when he said his hands are faster than Tyson's was. That's a tremendous compliment, especially when you consider the man is six foot six. And he maintains good balance when he finishes punches. That's what's also impressive, too. Versus corner seems calm. They seem to feel like their fighter is going where they want him to go. And you, you can't look at Vladimir without raising the specter of the one negative event in his career. The one fight he lost 15 fights ago against an American journeyman named Ross Purity. He dominated Purity for 10 rounds and then ran out of gas in the 11th and utterly caved in. Very similar to his brother Vitaly's one loss when he quit on his stool with a hurt shoulder after nine rounds of dominating Chris Bird. So the question in the minds of many American observers is, do the Klitschkos have no heart? Is it possible that in the first adverse circumstance arises, they will cave in? Surely that's what Mercer is looking for later in the fight. That's the only thing that Mercer can, do and can hope for because he can't match this guy in terms of skill, strength, or anything else. He only can hope he can wear him out and eventually he can add to that jab, which he's working very effectively going over top of Fisco's right hand. But he's going to have to add more to that later on. Another big heavyweight, Jamil McCline, seated at ringside here tonight, hoping for a shot at Klitschko down the road. Klein has moved into the top six unexpectedly. Klitschko bombs Mercer again with the right hand. Ray backs up into the ropes again. Klitschko has found a home with those straight right hands through the middle as Mercer holds his hands up on top. He's shooting most of the right hands right between the gloves. And that one he shot around the outside of the glove, sweeping it a little, as he can do, as Lennox has learned to do also in recent fights. Oh, uh, there's another one straight up the middle that was a bomb. 
Yeah, and you see it in Mainly, you notice he's going back to that European style with his left hand, not really jabbing with his left hand. He's pawing and trying to anticipate the head movement of Mercer. Then he shoots the right hand. But if you say shoot, you mean shoot. Yeah. He doesn't push it. I think he's fighting a very good fight. I mean, a perfect fight, actually, regardless of what happened at this stage. Klitschko's fighting a very good fight. And Mercer, too. Big left hook by Klitschko. But once Up again, cut lands. Mercer perfect. pauses to shake his head. Klitschko says, shake it all you want. I'll hit you again and again. A very determined Vladimir Klitschko. And a big cut on the right eye of Mercer, which is closing in any event. Product of those left hooks. Maybe I don't think Mercy is. <laughs> well, they've been asking Mercer to throw the right hand over the guard, and he did, and landed it. I think if there ever was a time that Mercer needs to change up his now, he should let everything go now. But the cut, and that's not going to get any better. He's going to have to open up. But this fight's going to have to be stopped. That cut's in a bad spot. Cut and, and swelling. And Klitschko is going to focus a little more on the left hook to oh, take yes. advantage of that cut. Ray needs to open up now. Mercer is squinting. Oh, oh, what a right hand. I don't think Mercer can believe what's happening to him in there. I think the head shaking is all about, my God, where did this guy come from? This could be the end here. There's only one heavyweight in the world who might have a chance to stand in against Vladimir Klitschko. That was a very impressive performance tonight. And his name Perfect. is Lennox Lewis, Manny. That's the only guy. <laughs> I was very impressed tonight. Well, earlier very I said impressive. going into this fight, he had to impress fans, the media, and especially his own promoters with his performance tonight in order to convince everyone he should be Lennox Lewis's next opponent. Do you think, Manny, that he did that? I thought he looked sensational tonight. Perfect. I was very, Is that better very, than very, very you very expected, good. Manny? No. I'm a big fan of him. I, I think he's the perfect catcher. I'm very impressed with him tonight.